All right, what's up, y'all? So today we are here at Honda. We're here with my boy Billy. We at? Give it there. We're finally gonna put on the coilovers that I bought from uh, Win. We got some Olin's DFVs, so I'm super excited. My first time actually owning a S2000 with coilovers, so that'd be exciting. Hey, this is Billy. So MSRP for everything here, including the coilovers themselves the 12K Swift Springs in the front and the socket bomb mounting forks come out to be around uh, 2800 brand new, hence the thumbnail. <laughs> the what? One. When one short stick doesn't work, try the long stick. So this looks like we gotta take this one off the lower control arm and then Undo the upper control arms, and then also do the uh, the ones in the top. Right here, let's try. I got this for a steal from Win because he upgraded it up to the uh, MCS two ways. I think for his S two thousand. Huh? Dude, I'm so happy. Thanks, man. I got you. It was a lot faster than I expected, for sure. Dude, yeah, it only took us an hour. Dude, I thought it was gonna take us all night. <laughs> really? Yeah. Dude, yeah, I mean, I saw the. I didn't want to jinx it, that's why I didn't say anything. Yeah. It's like, it should only take like an hour. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, we said that about your GX, too, and it took yeah. us like three hours. That's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> <Fair>. <laughs> this might actually ride better than Scott, too. Because the stocks are like so old now. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I'm so happy. This is an audio check from the uh, the DJI mic and the Wode, the Wode. <laughs> this is the little Wode mic right here. This is the Rode Lavalier. So as much as I love the DJI mics, they're still kind of bulky and they don't uh, 
look great on camera, so they're super convenient and I love the mic quality, but uh, sometimes I just need to hide the mic a little bit better. So testing this out for the first time here, I think I have put on at least 100 miles by now on the suspension. This is day three now. I was driving around <laughs> all of Dallas yesterday. So highway speeds compared to the stock, it's just, it's crazy how different it is. Um, I didn't realize the stock suspension was that bad, but I guess after 113,000 miles, it gets kind of old. It feels so much more confidence inspiring that going on the highway, why are you going 50, bro? It feels so much better on the highway going like even just 70, 80. It's so compliant. This feels almost like a new car now. Man, yeah, I'm just super happy. I really can't complain about anything. It just makes me want to drive the car more often just because it's so comfortable now and it's almost shit. It's not as comfortable as the Lexus, but it's, it's getting pretty close, which is weird to say. And it's more fun and I get to do this and the car doesn't beat me up for it when I go over bumps and hit stuff. So I say that as I go over every single bump in Dallas right now. The light is going away so fast. Here's the full car. I, I love this so much. I love the ride height. I think I'm gonna lower it a little bit. Oh, the front's a little high. I wanna go maybe like, maybe another half inch lower on the front. And then the rear is sitting pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this, especially once it's loaded up. So I don't wanna go too much lower and lose too much suspension travel. Wynn told me to load up the preload in the front a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that. But all in all, really happy. Yeah, thanks for watching y'all. I uh, hope to do some more. We lost the light so fast. That looks so pretty. Look at that. Mm. Beautiful.